Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup reading is for all Leos and it's for January 2023. I hope you will enjoy it. Let me begin first by showing you what your cup looks like, which is always the way, the traditional way of showing it and it looks magnificent, so much happening here. There is a part that's come out here. Oh yes, some of you could be moving or taking a new trip or starting something new without a doubt okay um now what i'd like to say is for my dear viewers who are new to the channel first and foremost welcome everyone and happy new year to everybody i hope you had a wonderful safe new year i hope you're still enjoying your holidays for those of you who are still having holidays and um i'd like to say that for those of you who are new i meditate prior to doing the coffee cup and get connected to all the guiding angels that belong to those of you that have very strong leo in you and then i'm given a lot of information which i write it down and deliver it to you at the end of this reading so prepare for that and let me begin now we'll start first from the beginning of this cup and I'll just put my glasses on and we will begin. Okay, what am I seeing here? Hmm. It looks like to me it seems to me that there are some challenges that you might be facing or you might have come to the end of challenges but there are a little bit further challenges to be faced in regard to something that you really need to overcome uh, you are you have got the strength and i feel like you should try one more time one more time and i think you will do well i feel like um i feel like i'm just trying to put something on here we go yes um i feel like that you know, you might be, there might be fear, uh, fear of betrayal perhaps, or you might be feeling threatened somewhat. I do think that even though you are surrounded with negative energy at this point in time, but I'm seeing the light around you and I'm seeing that the universe and your guiding angels, you, you need to trust in them that they will support you. There are untrustworthy people around you. So you are dealing with people that are negative. But you need to focus your intention on deflecting that negative energy and work your way through. And one more trial, I feel like you will be able to overcome these challenges. But you'll see that your spirit guides, your angels are watching out for you. So that is the good news. You're not alone. Some things will start synchronizing. There's synchronicity going around you. Uh, that's going to let you know that there's freedom coming. There is release and healing. But the most important factor for these synchronicities, they're there to guide you so that you know you are supported and your guardian angels are with you you're not alone this is all happening for a new beginning there is a new beginning destined for you this new beginning is going to bring you plenty of action a lot of happiness end of grieving time the time that you were grieving i just feel like this is not sitting quite comfortably like that okay that's better grieving time i feel like um, emotional pain and depression is going to be removed with this new beginning i also feel and see that there might have been some guilt or deep regret over something you've done or something you might have said um that was probably keeping you um you know giving you some sort of concern or anxiety but i feel like you know someone might be accusing you of you know giving them misery or great pain but that that anguish was their own doing it wasn't just you contributing towards that maybe by leaving them maybe they feel like you caused them misery or great pain by leaving them but i i just feel like the anguish was more on your side and and um, from your side and and the fear and doubt clouded your judgment at some point perhaps um clouded your thinking but I do see that the universe and your guardian angels are saying healing is coming from all sides to support you and to move you away from this. Not to mention this new beginning. Um, you are going to go through an awakening. An awakening is destined for you. Wow. For those of you who are, have, who are not aware of what awakening is, an awakening is when you're energetically and spiritually uplifted 
upgrade it. It's like you are a new person. It's like you're aware, awake, and you know uh, the difference between you know being um, being a person as a human being and also being a spirit within a new way of being. A new way you integrated your mind and your soul integrate and and bring you this incredible awakening that makes you so strong beyond where you are today and takes you beyond because there is an upgrade of life this is new tree here this new life a new beginning that's going to give you abundance of joy and, and adventure and excitement there's a lot of excitement someone very very uh, charismatic someone very courageous very, very strong, sort of in their in their way, the way they present them uh, themselves, and the way they believe their convictions, their ideals. Um, they're very strong. Someone very strong. Fire energy, like yourself, Leo. Fire could be Aries, could be Sagittarius. This person, they will open up to you. This person, they will take action in regard to you or with you. To get results whether it's going to be a business situation or a relationship but you're getting results and they are taking the action some of you were not really taking the um facing up to the problems that were there you need to face up to them this is right before this um, new beginning it just shows that in regard to what i just left here it shows some of you were not Perhaps you needed the courage to overcome them, and now you have, and you will. And you need to know, once you overcome them, this new amazing beginning is going to be there for you. If you were in an intellectual rut, all that changes. You become open, and then you become you, know, you can become filled with these new ideas. So much strength to overcome all. All the stagnation gets removed, and you are moving in action. Look for ways to stretch your imagination and you'll see the answers to your problems are within you. I also feel that there is a situation that has come out of your hands. It's out of your hands, out of your control. It's over. It's like you just don't want to deal with it. There's too much hurt and it's something that you can't do anything about. You can't really deal with it. All you got to do is set boundaries. Some of you are setting boundaries, but there is anger. There's anger. Something's happened that's caused this anger. Maybe um, it is to do with the grief and the loss that I was talking about, the regrets, the setbacks of a relationship or friendship or, you know, loss of something valuable. I feel like disappointment in love and friendship seems to be part of it. But I do feel at the same time that the strength of spirit to endure is going to be with you and help you move forward. Don't give up hope, whatever you do. There is a better future. There's a wonderful future. But you need to choose creative and perfect solutions to your problems so that they can be over once and for all and not keep repeating. So um, there will be a temporary period where you will go through this and then it's passing and then you're moving on to the next level. Now, um, some of you have got a lot of financial worries. Some of you might have lost a lot of money. I feel like loss of a home or less loss of health. Something has happened. Something big has been lost. But I, I, I'm shown that spiritual institutions, not just one, because there's heaps of them, as though they are going to be, you know, looking to different ways how to support you, overcome these challenges and overcome all these obstacles and most of all the losses that you have gone through the losses are going to be reimbursed but it will take some time if you have taken time out and you just want to be alone and thinking about what to do thinking and and looking for answers and searching for answers it shows to me that there are incredible matters happening here um, i feel like answers of life's problems are within you but you need to reach out to them and i feel like you will someone Someone will help you. Someone will defend you. Someone will inspire you. Doing it alone, you're not good in doing things alone unless there's someone there to support you. And I see you are protected. So something's happening, you know, while you're in the midst of the soul searching, some sort of a idea or a suggestion might take you away on a small trip. 
And I did see the trip here in the midst of uh, all the problems that you're going through. There is a trip that's going to inspire you. Taking this time out is going to bring you some inspiration. And believe it or not, you could be, you know, you could be falling to somebody, somebody wonderful. Sometimes you feel that people are not listening when you're talking and you get angry at that because you try to put put your intentions you express them so well and you do well when you're communicating but it's as though sometimes you feel as though they're not listening this is um this shows to me that there is a situation where perhaps you really need to use some sort of connection to the people that you are trying to talk to to see what is the best course of action for them to listen because you are communicating with your heart and sometimes people get really um unable to receive when when there's something very deep and, and from the heart but i am seeing that you are taking a stand and defending what you believe in you do need a little bit of passion uh, sorry a little patience but there's a lot of passion in you that's what i was trying to say you've got this passion of um of you know defending your words and what you believe in and i feel like with a little bit of planning and a little bit of patience you are going to get exactly where you want to be i do see that you're fighting for something that belongs to you and something that belongs to you that you might have lost or somebody might have taken is coming back it is yours it is shown to me that this belongs to you it looks like a house but it might not be a house a house is just a representation of something that you own or something that's sacred for you something that is part of your foundation your dominion something was taken from you or you lost it or you thought you might have lost it you might have lost it but you haven't and you won't this is belongs to you this is yours and the universe shows that shows that it's yours there is going to be um, a very quick success happening some changes and transformations and finally you'll know you'll have clarity there is a lot of clarity coming through a lot of truth is coming to support you and help you understand that what belongs to you will be yours it won't be taken away remember that and in the in the process of you um trying to challenge if somebody's trying to challenge your authority um then you know you can take all the action you can stand up for yourself take all the action necessary and you will never regret your actions and you will succeed so just stand for what you believe in um even if there will be criticism the challenges may be a bit too much but you take your stand and and fight for what you believe in and you will see that you will be at an advantage and you will get exactly what you want even though this happens and after this you are emotionally unhappy sort of withdrawn this could be a battle you know some of you could be going through a battle of a marriage breaking down and and you know being threatened that you'll lose your money your business your home your possessions or something like that something that is of a loss that, that you will be grieving but then you are surpassing that and you are moving to another chapter a new cycle of life is destined for you so you'll find the answer to your happiness just wait and see and that's what they're telling me they're saying just wait and see what surprises there are for you your discontentment and unhappiness is just a matter of time it will disappear this is going to be a wonderful year for you the 2023 you will find the answer to your happiness and what really makes you happy and that could be someone someone of a warrior <laughs> that's what i'm showing someone of a warrior nature someone that believes fights for what they believe in um someone that answers their deepest calling someone that is very much like you very much straightforward truthful and very strong so it could be someone that you are you are going to get exactly what you need what is needed within your heart that's coming i see a beautiful boat here it shows um positive movement coming positive uh changes taking place to transcend you to a better level and to give you exactly what you need remember that exactly what you need there's movement there's freedom there's action there is end of a challenge there's victory and there is a beautiful relationship forming someone will call you whether they'll text you nowadays or calling you there's a 
uh, communication of some sort. I'm seeing a phone receiver, a handle. Uh, somebody will call you. Someone will try to tell you something. And that is going to support your move to the next level. You're actually going somewhere. You are moving to a better place. Whether it's by by the literal sense or it's metaphorically you're leaving. I see you in a boat and going to a better place. I see that there could be um, you know, an unwanted relationship you're leaving unwanted proposal of a job or something you're not happy you're overwhelmed with so much sadness and you just want to go and i feel like you were not able to cope with day-to-day -day problems they were overwhelming you they were becoming too much that's why you're leaving and you're doing well you're leaving because you're destined for a beautiful future there's a better future out there for you better than the present that's for sure and things are eventually going to work out you will see after traveling or taking this boat or moving to the next level i feel like your heart chakra is opening up the heart chakra is opening up big time the heart chakra is all about love and acceptance acceptance of yourself acceptance of your circumstances your life i feel like it's time for you to re establish yourself rejuvenate sort of uh, upgrade you are going through upgrades spiritual upgrade so it is at the same time accepting um, yourself the way you are accepting yourself and remember um, if you're not feeling better about life then remember that in a moment things change once you accept the situations for what they are once you accept yourself, once you honor your body, yourself, you will see that um, there's going to be a healthier, more balanced life destined for you. But you're just in the process of reaching there because you haven't reached yet. It is important that you pay attention to and be grateful to what's coming. You are going to be in so much gratitude. Acceptance seems to be a major factor from your guiding angels, this message about accepting accepting situations to be able to move from there to a better level remember these words you also need to pay attention to your blood circulation it's very important your hands your shoulders your breasts your chest uh, very important i do feel someone very very compassionate is coming in your life someone very loving someone that you will treasure someone that you will love wholeheartedly this is someone so generous, generous with their affection, generous with their love. It's someone that will touch your heart. This is happening at a time where there is some sort of truth being given to you, some clarity about situations. I also do see someone that might have air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, um, someone that is very disciplined and someone that is very courageous with a very good heart. You are falling for this person. You're starting a new life with this person. It's going to be spectacular. First and foremost, you're going on a meeting with this person. Like you're just starting to date them when the heart chakra opens up. You might be meeting, conversing, you know, um, uplifting in conversation, friendship. It might start that way. And then... You are going to fall in love with the simple acts of kindness that this person possesses, their generosity, their compassion. You are going to fall so deeply for this person. These things, their nature, their, their, their attitude brings you happiness and that is going to shock you. That is going to move you and shock you. The way they move, the way they, the way they carry themselves, the way they act, the way how kind they are, how compassionate they are, that's what's bringing the happiness within you. And you don't understand why, because of the way they are. This is really amazing. Amazing. I'm seeing number five here. This could be connected to the Chinese era of the dragon, connected to changes that are coming and the changes that this person will make within you. Or you could be born in the Chinese era of the dragon or they could be born in the Chinese era of the dragon. But number five is certainly there. It could be a sign about their home or where you will meet. Number five, remember that. This person's also got earth energy within them. So it's not only air, they've got also earth, which makes them very grounded, financially successful. Earth energy are Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This person is very ethical, and you'll love that about them. They're realistic, down to earth, and they can be um, extremely focused. And that too you will enjoy in them, because they will support you in, in sort of, you know, <laughs> 
paying attention to the things that you might miss out on. You know, they're very, very precise and you will like that. You will really respect that. This person is a very, very strong fire energy. Fire energy, very strong. So remember, I said a bit of air before, but now I saw earth very strong, which is Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Now I'm seeing that they've got a lot of fire energy in them. And the fire energy is nominated here. It's the archer which is Sagittarius, and Aries, the ram. So not only any fire energy, there are the Aries or Sagittarius. My dear Leo, which is the fire energies are your soulmates with a little bit of earth in them. Without earth, fire doesn't do well with fire. You always need earth. Now, you know how I said there was air energy? They do have Aquarius in them. There's the water bearer. So the Aquarius is there. So remember, there's double fire, which is either Sagittarius or Aries or both in them very strong and then they've got air which is aquarius shown and then there is virgo remember i said a bit of earth is important and i said there's um, virgo taurus capricorn well this shows that there's virgo and then very strong virgo remember that now as for the chinese sign believe it or not i've got two goats here two goats so chinese ear of the goat Chinese ear of the goat. It's either yourself or them. Double goat that just intensifies that this person has a lot of goat. This is really telling you ideally what this person um, star sign combination is and what they're all about. The goat is someone very affectionate, um, very affectionate, very um, lovable, very bubbly, but at the same time, um, you know, someone that's very good with finances and someone that's very. Um, they expand and they transcend and they keep moving forward and they're very family oriented at the same time. I'm also seeing, so we got the goat twice, remember that. Now I've got also there's a pig, Chinese hero of the pig. Now this could be yourself or it could be the person that we're talking about. Chinese hero of the pig, Chinese hero of the dog here and then I've got Chinese year of the snake. So whether it's yourself, you are one of these signs or the person, remember that each and every one of these uh, signs are connected to you in some way. Uh, the pig is all about plenty, money coming in. The snake is about love and healing. Because of love, this person's fa passion and affection will give you healing. Um, and then the dog is all about loyalty and friendship. There's going to be a certain friendship between you and this person. But do remember that strength is given to you in the midst of everything that you're going through. And the universe is watching your back. Now, here we go. This is amazing. Look what they're saying. The messages that have come from your guardian angels in meditation. Somebody is going to say this. I'm into you. That's what they're saying. I'm into you. It's going to be heard. It's going to be seen that somebody is really into you and they might actually say it. Emotionally strong, you will feel very emotionally strong, maybe towards this person. There's a lot of passion. Someone with a passionate nature. Just drink a little bit of water. Yes, excuse me. Now, passionate, passionate nature. Someone very impressive. So you'll be very impressed with their way. Wow. Oh, my God. We've got Chinese ear of the dragon, Chinese ear of the goat. Chinese here, the dragon and the goat. I saw the dragon here. That was number five. The goat twice, two goats, and now the third goat. So the goat is impacting this reading more than anything else. Those of you who are born in the Chinese here, the goat, you might be meeting another person that have Chinese goat within them. Your lover, your person could be born in the Chinese here, the goat. Very strong. And dragon. So dragon and goat are the main ones. Transactions are going to take place. You will need support and help. And help will come. March, something about March, could be somebody born in March, could be something about a, a date in March. But remember, March is very important. Maybe it's, a date is going to be set in March for a resolution or, you know, a, a, a transaction to come to become complete. Uh, it says March and then it says it's a must. OK, remember that it's a must. I don't know what that means in regard to this to you. Um, something has to be done. It's a must in March. So that's the clue. In March, a date, something has to be done and it's a must. Take action. So it's a must for you to take action, obviously. Wow. You need to take action. It says, um, I was shown that you need to rebuild. You need to, even if you have to damage something or, you know, when you have to, uh, what's the word, when you demolish something and you rebuild again, that's what it looks like to me. That's what they're saying, rebuild. Even if you have to demolish something, rebuild. It says there is a picnic and outing that's going to be spectacular. Um, you are 
committing to peace. You're going through a stage of life where you want peace and you are getting exactly that. Now, the names that are being called out here, um, the initials of the names, the letters are R for Rome, S for Sweet, Okay, R for Rome or for Rooster, S for Sweet or for Sister, Y for Yellow or for Yours, N for Never, N for Norway. These are the letters for you to pay attention or you might be dealing with someone that has these initials or could be um, to do with some subject uh, that's getting uh, impacted in March or could be anything. It could be the person that you're meeting. These numbers, uh, names are very important, these initials. Or the beginning of names okay and it is also for you to pay attention to what's being said here and here it's probably your guardian angels calling out to your names or the initials of your names to pay attention big time especially those who whose names are being called out okay then i was given two sets of numbers number one number three Number three is all about transcending where you are, moving to a better place, families, expanding, changes in families, upgrading, learning, bringing new skills on, changing new careers, starting your own business, doing something new in regard to your work. In regard to your family, there is changes in families, there is um, connections, there is working team being more closer and working in team together. That's another one. And then three is also about profits that are made from working in businesses, working in groups together. And three is also the Chinese year of the tiger, which we are leaving behind us. It's ending on the 19th of January, which was this year, 2022. I mean, sorry, the previous year, 2022. Um, so 2022 has ended and something about the Chinese year of the tiger, whether it's yourself or the person that you're dealing with, something about the Chinese year of the tiger, somebody born in March and March itself, whether it's someone born in March or March, something that it's a must and you, you need to take action in regard to. Remember, March is also three. Those of you born on the third of the month or dealing with someone born the third of the month or number three or March, um, three weeks from the time you see this coffee cup onwards up to three months, there will be all those things that I described happening. New career expansion, this, this and that. Profits for families, profits for businesses, changes in families for a better life. All the things I described are going to take place from the time you see this up to three weeks to three months. Now, we move on to the second number and the second number is number two. Number two is connected to people that are born on the second of the month it is connected to actual number two it's connected to february somebody born in february or february itself that will impact you in somewhat uh, number two is connected to relationships and a lot happening in relationships all kinds of relationships things changes transformations um upgrades and and you know um all positive it's about plenty number two and it's about chinese year of the ox or buffalo those of you dealing with someone or yourself um chinese year of the buffalo it is also connected to somebody born in february and it's within the time you see this cup up to two months there will be a lot of changes a lot of dealings a lot of things um going on with relationships you know fixing relationships repairing them meeting someone new working on the relationships at home family relationships you know uh, all kinds of relationships, just uh, sort of, you know, transactions happening between relationships until everything settles. But so much abundance happening in relationships. And actually, number two itself is about abundance. So abundance is coming your way also from the time you see this cup up to two months all this is going to take place i do hope you enjoyed this reading my dear leos thank you all for being here i wish you abundance of blessings for this new year 2023 may it give you all the prosperity all the healing and safety that you need and that the universe will guide you and help you towards i wish you a lot of blessings and namaste